Oh, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Back at it again. Um, it's Friday morning now. Uh, we've got a couple of days of, uh, of sun. Everything's cut. Um, everything's um, been turned. I'm just driving out to uh, the fields we cut first of all, just to sort of see how they're drying off, see if they need turning over yet. Um, they both had a good day of sun on them yesterday, so uh, it may well be that they want to be just turned over again, um, just to just to get any bits of green that are still left. Um, it's going to be a quiet day today, I think. Just uh, time to wait and uh, let nature take its course. But um, we'll see if there's anything needs doing. Just keep an eye on it all. Um, fingers crossed. It's not far off being ready to bail. I mean, I'd like to be able to bail um, over the weekend, ideally. Um, maybe, maybe even get some into bales. If you'll get it rowed up tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it dries. Um, obviously, we don't want to bail it too early. No point in doing that. So, um, yeah, just uh, today's a gentle day, I think, before the chaos and hectic days of bailing and collecting. Um, so I've just arrived out here in this field. It's all looking, actually, I'll just turn you around. I don't know if you can see that. The tractor, the windows are a bit grubby, but... Uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad. I'm just going to um, just gonna hop out and uh, have a look, see what it looks like. And if it needs turning, I'll give it a turn. If it doesn't, I'll... Uh, I'll let it dry for a bit longer and then come back later on today, um, possibly later on this evening, and uh, and uh, throw it around a bit more. But it's looking quite dry, so it's looking dry on the top. Um, we'll have a look underneath it and see how it looks. Uh, okay, just got out to have a quick look, and uh, yeah, a bit of a mixture. I'm going to turn it now. I think some of the um, some of the uh, the rows, as you see here, some of the rows are actually fairly dry all the way through there's still a bit of green here but it's it's drying out nicely but uh, if we just come over to here for example um, look here there's obviously there's a lot of green um, uh, a lot of moisture still in some of this stuff here so I'm gonna give it a quick turn now um, before the Sun gets up too high and gets too hot and then uh, it should dry nicely through the day and um, with any luck as I say, we'll be in a position where sometime tomorrow, Saturday, we can possibly look at getting it rode up, maybe bail tomorrow afternoon. We'll, um, we'll have to see. So uh, I'll get to it and um, just plod up and down the field. So we're uh, turning away Ooh, quite happily here. Um, we're in the, uh, the middle field, the wet field now, where uh, our dear family live. I saw them again last night, there was actually 10 of them. Um, we have seemed to have sort of a mini herd of deer living out in the woods over there, which is lovely. Um, yeah, things going well. We're chucking the hay around. Um, it seems to be drying fairly nicely. There's a few, uh, a few lumps of uh, really green stuff tucked away in amidst the dry. So um, obviously, just need to check it a couple more times before we uh, before we even think about bailing it in this field. This field is obviously, as I said right at the start, um, is, is always a wetter field um, and the grass is really dense as well. I think I was worried when we first came in here um, that the ground was actually going to be really wet but um, I think probably the, the grass has sucked a lot of that moisture out of the topsoil. Um, which is good because it's grown well. Uh, we've got plenty of grass in here, but it is just taking a little bit of time to to dry out properly. The field will be cut immediately before this on the same day. Um, probably 80% of it, maybe even 90% of it, is is pretty much there. Um, you know, we could be bailing that tomorrow. Um, whereas in here, probably. I expect there's 30-40% of stuff that's just still green, so um, yeah, it's just uh, it's going to be a case of mowing it in the order, it, uh, mowing it, bailing it in the order it's ready. Um, the uh, ironically, the last field I cut 
which I only cut on um, Thursday, yesterday morning. Um, you know, a lot of that is, is really dry already. It's much thinner. Um, there won't be as much hay in there, but it may well be one of the first I end up bailing, um, just because it's drying out so much quicker. So we'll see what happens. This one doesn't get a lot of wind, as I said before. Um, it's shielded, as you can probably see behind me, it's shielded on all sides of the field by trees. So you, uh, we're relying more on the sun here and less on the wind. Um, but, you know, it's uh, all going to plan. Forecast says we've still got um, plenty of dry weather to come, so uh, I'm not sort of worrying just at the minute. I'm not, I'm not scared we're going to lose it all. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be a hot, hotter day again. It's uh, forecast says for 26 degrees C today and 27 degrees C tomorrow, and again with this just this breeze. Um, Hopefully, we'll get a good drying day today. We'll be able to bale, grow up and bale um, one of the smaller fields tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's that. We'll just we'll carry on flinging it about. And uh, as I say, I think it's gonna be a quiet day today. Plenty of time to have a rest. afternoon and it's really hot so um, I'm just gonna go out turn the hill my son is here Hello. just got back from school so he's gonna come out with me today um, tractor seems to be fine after all our messing about in the field and all the problems there this is still the original lift pump it doesn't seem to be playing up anymore I've got a spare um, which arrived today so just in case but I think that might have been money wasted well not wasted but i think it's money i didn't need to spend um everything seems to be starting all right so we're just um just about to go out hey bob's all doing fine no major problems so, so far apart from one little problem with the fuel we haven't had any breakdowns so far which is good long may that continue and um yeah gonna get up on the hill now do some uh do some more turning um, with the heat today it's looking like we'll never know we might be bailing tomorrow um, once we've done this we're going to go out to the end of the farm again and have a look see what sort of state it's in um, so fingers crossed we'll see what happens well we're up here on the hill and it's obviously been a very hot day today um, the stuff we're getting out the back really dry. I mean we're going to be baling it tomorrow. You could almost bale it now. There's a few patches of green underneath it but nothing significant so yeah we'll be tomorrow morning probably we'll be rowing this up and baling it. Um, I'm wondering what the stuff out at the end of the farm is like actually because that is probably ready as well. We might actually even row that up this evening. I don't know. Um, we'll have a look when we go out there but yeah it's all lovely and dry, lovely and crisp. Um, it's got that lovely hissing sound as it goes through the uh, goes through the tether. So uh, yeah, we'll be bailing.
Well, we're out here in the bigger field and uh, I was expecting to come out and turn it again but looking at it, it is dry as a bone all the way through. We're just going to have a look down at the bottom here uh, where the grass is a bit thicker in case there's any green underneath it. Um, if there is, we'll probably just run the turner over it um, and row it up in the morning. But uh, yeah, up at the top of the field is absolutely perfect. It's bailing, you know, properly ready to bale now. So, just in one of the thick patches, let's just have a look here. There's a bit of green, but how dry is it? Um, so we've got a bit of green. Yeah, I think it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's have a quick look here. Under the trees here, um, there's obviously a lot more shadow. Uh, the sun doesn't get on it through the whole day. Um, but south is kind of that way. So it will have got a lot of sun um, earlier on in the day. Let's just have a quick look underneath here. See how it looks. Oh, absolutely, absolutely dry as a bone. Really looks nice. Um, yeah, I'm thinking probably we're ready to bale this. I'm just looking around, just looking around for a couple of the thick spots just sort of looking for problems but um, yeah at the moment this was this is where it was thickest this is where the big clumps were um, yeah, let's just pick up some of this oh yeah there's yeah there's nothing in that that we've got to worry about well, that's ready to bail so um, it's probably getting a bit late in the day to do it now uh, but I might row it up might might actually get on and row it up this evening um, you know, and then get the baler out here first thing tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to lose anything by doing that. And if anything, getting it stacked up into the rows. Uh, if we do get any dew tonight, there's not a lot, it's so dry. So if we do get any dew tonight, it'll just sit on the top of the windrows rather than being spread across the whole lot. So uh, that'll soon burn off in the sun. It's going to be a hot day tomorrow. So, um, yeah, good to go. Ready to bale. I was little, happy, probably. So I'm happy. Okay, back up at the tractor. Um, we've just set the hay bob up for rowing, wind rowing. It was set in the spreading mode before. There's a couple of things to do. First, you've got to adjust all these tines. There's two settings on these in the um, spreading mode. These uh, uh, tines come into this joint which means the um, the tine itself sticks out at a more direct angle sort of perpendicular to the uh, to the rotor here they're swept back so that they uh, don't fling it out sideways quite so much and then you adjust these gates and the gates set the, the width of the row um, obviously it spills out a little bit so you've got to be a bit careful and that's dictated really by the um, width your baler can accommodate so how, how much of a swap you can pick it up I'm going to go with this for now. We've got quite a wide pickup on the baler. Um, see how it looks. See how it stacks up. Uh, there's some quite thick grass in places, so it, it might uh, climb up and be a bit tall. But we'll, we'll see how it goes when we start wind rowing. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, worse that can happen. We've got to just do it again. Yeah. 